Hello, everybody out there in Never Forever Land. Hi, folks. We, uh, <laughs> we're Ron Joe. We listen to cool albums. My name is Keith. My name is Dell. And we uh, are going to be listening to a really cool album tonight, right, Dell? Are we? Did I um, give it away well, already? <laughs> Well, you did. Our title probably gives it away. That's stupid. We will never forever will we listen to uh, such a, um, oh, cool, I don't know, magical, fantastical, beautiful um, Kate Bush album, you know? Uh, right. She's got, you know, she's got lots of cool albums, but this uh, this one is kind of unique I, from, um, from Kate. It's a... Well, to me, uh, it was a clear stepping stone. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I got into Kate on the next album. Right. And, of course, the album after that. Yep. And then when I went back to listen to this, it's like, hmm. And then I went back to listen to early stuff said, ah. Yes. Yes. From there to there yep. to there. So it made sense. Yeah, this was the first that. self-produced album. Well, I guess she actually technically, I guess, produced the live album that was released right before this. Um, oh, yeah. That yeah. technically was her first you know self-produced record but uh this one you know the original songs Studio. yeah right and she had help from uh, john kelly um who had engineered yep. lionheart the previous record um right yeah right. you're right a stepping stone this you know she's she's coming into her own even more she she was happier with this album than either of her first two albums yeah right more yeah. personal it was it was more of her vision what what she wanted so K. Bush Never Forever, uh, uh, 1980. 1980. Right, her third third studio album. What's weird, my progression to Kate, I think it was yours too, Peter. Peter Gabriel. You know, because Games Without Frontiers, yes. I knew. Yes, yes, yes. And we yes. were getting into that third PG album. Yeah. Uh, and there's Kate singing on it. And it's like, so Kate. It was it's Kate. just yeah, and you know, was, us, us guys from over here in in the U.S. and that like, song was just so I didn't know, bizarre. I didn't know, and then because we I don't, I don't remember her, Weathering Heights. No, here. I don't either. I'm pretty sure the first time I heard her voice was that night that I was I used to sleep with the radio on, yeah, really low. Um, that our AOR out, uh, radio station in Corpus. right, right, and that song came on the radio woke me up. Games Without Frontier? Games Without Frontier. Right, right. And I think that was the first time I heard Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush, and they were together. Right. That song. Right. You know, so that night, I mean, I I was meant to hear that song. <laughs> and it, it was meant to wake me up, because now I'm woke to the, like this new, whole new, <laughs> this whole new just universe of music right. between Kate Bush and, and, Keith, and Peter Gabriel. You yeah. know, between them two, it's just like... <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know, right. so exactly. This album was not the first. I heard um, the Dreaming first, and then this album. But it wasn't very long. I mean, I heard the Dreaming first, loved it, and it was like a month later or less because I was working at the record store. Yeah. When I heard, when I heard, when when I heard, well, no, I wasn't. I knew the Dreaming from before the record store. But as soon as I got started working at the record store, I listened to this album because oh, I'd never okay. even. Yeah, so it wasn't very long after the dreaming uh, came out that I heard this, and I was just like, "Ooh, ooh!" I, you know, it, it did, was a. Did you hear this first? Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like a CS eighty. Find the space with John Gimlin. She won't 
summer songs but i think my problem on the surface i never got that song and now i went until this week i really looked into what it was about and i get it i'm not sure i love the flow of it but i get it oh i least. i love it I, yeah. i've always loved that song it's one of my favorite kate songs it's just so different than anything you know it is that it is that i think it just always threw me off but i don't think i was ever ready for it i never understood why she had syphilis as a, as a lyric in it until 
this week. I, the, the, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know what she said syphilis until this week. So yeah. So yeah. I guess the uh, the composer Frank uh, Frederick is it Delius Delius. Yeah, Frederick De- Delius. Delius. De- Delius. Has, has syphilis. Delius. Yeah. Yeah, I see, and that's what those me. Well, anyway, I won't get into that. That's. Well, but, he he contracted it late in his life, and it disabled him. He got uh, he was right. he became um, crippled, right? He paralyzed right. and blind, right. and he was a composer and couldn't write his his comp- compositions. And so this dude Femby, you know, was a fan of his and right. volunteered essentially to come be his scribe. And Delius was really mean to him. You know, and it could have been because he was blind and, and, and paralyzed, but he was really mean to him. And um, it was uh, ta cha cha and B fed me. You know, I mean, come on, read my mind, idiot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to his. Oh, go ahead. But his, mu- but his music was beautiful, right? So I don't um, know. Do you know his music? Uh, I don't know. I didn't know his music, so I don't know. Well, I've heard some, I've heard a little bit of it and it's been very nice. So, I mean, what I've heard. Um, So anyway, go ahead. What were you going to? No, I was going to go back to Babushka and I was thinking about. Oh, okay. uh, Because I I, I always, you know, build a playlist. And I, the thing about Babushka was the video when, you know, when you're a young kid. Anyway, you see Kate Bush in some of her videos. It's like, oh, okay. And she's intelligent and sexy. The outfit she's wearing in uh, the video and in the chorus, especially, is just made up like a warrior. That wasn't in the fantasy writings or anything. But apparently, it it was an inspiration from a cover of this book, "Raven Sword Swords Mistress of Chaos," by Richard Kirk. Yeah, and and I didn't, uh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. a cool outfit for sure. I I guess I saw the video many years ago. I haven't seen it recently. Oh, um, go watch our playlist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, would, I, would. I, I just always liked that, the, you know, the, the, uh, the story in that song, right? That right. Her, she's, she's feeling, uh, you know, she's married to this, her husband feeling, uh, maybe she, she froze him out is apparently, and and she was missing the passion of their early years, and so she started writing him letters using a pseudonym. She was, she was testing his his loyalty. Yeah, his yeah. loyalty. Yep. And um, and he loved he loved these letters that he would receive anonymously, or not anonymously, but from Babushka, which was her. He didn't know that. But it reminded um, him of. Uh, of her when of her in the younger when she years. was right. yeah when she was still passionate and beautiful and light and lovely with the world and somewhere along the line she became jaded or something and um and he loved that about her and even when they got together they you know he didn't even recognize her because she had changed just from taking on this persona um right. and I I I like I I like to think that you know they got together again because of that right that uh, you know I think that per I I mean I think a lot of people think that she lost him right yeah. that she's screwed right. up because the but first like line think, is regret you know her first line is you know that she regrets she did it um, she she knew that she couldn't make she, the worst she couldn't have made the worst move right exactly. well yeah I know I know but you. I know, but I think from his, I think he actually did recognize her and that he's going, he's playing along and he's going, oh yeah, I like this. I like this, right. I, this little game we're playing here. Right. Um, so anyway, that's the way I like to think about it. I know not everybody thinks. Oh no, you don't. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm sure she would say, Hey, that's a good way to look at it, but that's me being <laughs> positive too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You know so, what, what's what's so neat about her then, and it, and you discussed you know, well this live album she produced. You know she just came off of a tour before she did yeah. this, and that was her last tour until yep. a few years ago. Yep, yep, yep. From what I understand, it was just she didn't like the just the toil on her because she loved the choreography. She loved to put all this action in it, but 
there was so much of it, it just really wore down. And I've always think of her from those early years as just being this real active performance artist, really. Exactly. Because she was always moving, Taking on always these characters, and motion, dancing, and always, right, costumes, right. the characters in her songs, the stories. You know, she was into literary influences. You know, she would deal as deal is about a composer, right? I mean, right, right. you know, um, and, and so, of course, Wuthering Heights, Charlotte Bronte's novel from, you know, the Victorian times, you know, literary. She took character. She was like such a, a unique. She's and she's still a unique um, artist. Right. Right. Uh, I think so many people try to be like her and there are some really cool, I, Tori Amos is, is a really cool, uh, someone I'm sure who was influenced by Kate Bush. So um, speaking of her, okay, I've got to deal with her. Cause I think the same thing. I think she's always influenced by Kate Bush. I saw a recent thing that Pitchfork did on her and she listed all these songs that were just influences on her. And she didn't mention Kate Bush once. And I was like, really? What the hell? Yeah, I know. Really? And I, That's... I feel like, very I surprising. Feel like, I feel like riding around saying, "What's the deal?" I thought you were like you, you were the per- personification of uh, the '90s yeah, Kate Bush. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So interesting. That's interesting. Maybe she just, you know, maybe know. in the moment she forgot about Kate. You know, put on the spot. 